The Tragic Tale of Lyman Bostock Bostock was drafted by the Twins in 1972 and debuted for them as a 24 year old in 1975. He quickly established himself as one of the best hitters in the league, hitting above 320 in his first two full seasons. He was a free agent after the 1977 season and signed a six year, $2.3 million deal with the California Angels, making him one of the highest paid players in the league. He struggled to begin the 1978 season and attempted to return his salary for the month of April, saying that he didn't live up to his performance. The Angels refused, and Bostock instead donated his April salary to charity. He quickly rebounded, and after the Angels game against the Chicago White Sox in Chicago on September 23rd, 1978, Bostock went to visit some family and friends that lived nearby. He was riding in the backseat of a car with a female friend, and when the car rolled up to a stoplight, the estranged woman of the husband shot a shotgun through the window, striking Bostock. He suspected the two were having an affair, when in reality, they weren't, and Bostock had only met her that night. He would succumb to his injuries a few hours later, at the age of just 27. His career batting average was 311 at the time of his passing.